Good evening, this is Orson Welles, inviting you to listen now to one of the strangest stories ever told. It's like Mozart playing music at four years old. You can't believe it happens, but it does happen. He grasped the media with such brilliance and enthusiasm, he completely mastered it. I made no campaign promises because until a few weeks ago, I had no hope of being elected. I was spoiled in a very strange way. If you're walking along the edge of a cliff and you don't know it's the edge of a cliff, you have perfect confidence. I didn't know what was ahead of me. <laughs> RKO had hired Wells to make them masterpieces, and he delivered a masterpiece, and they didn't like it. I was fired from RKO. I didn't get a job as director for years afterwards. Wells was an ideological challenge to Hollywood. The money guys didn't trust him. He was simply not a Hollywood filmmaker. An Italian waiter came and said to me in Italian, did you ever make a picture after Citizen Kane? He was different. He was doing something so unique to his own imagination. Less organized, more anarchistic and freer atmosphere. It really wasn't indie filmmaking when Wells was doing it. None of his pictures received wide distribution. He was not afraid of being self-conscious with the camera. And you began to realize, ah, oh, I see the camera moves. I love his love of using the medium for all of its tricks. Wells stands above everybody's work. One thing one can be sure is that there wasn't before him an Orson and there'll never be a second. I always liked Hollywood very much. It just wasn't reciprocated. <laughs> 